Hello, welcome back here all. Today we are going to discuss about how to download the CIMPS6 dataset and uh, what is a CIMPS6. So the CIMP, uh, CIMPS6 is a climate impact model for the precipitation and the scenarios version 6 is a climate data model used for the application to analyze and predict the climate change impacts on a different things and basically the model integrated with multiple factors the climate factors such as the temperature precipitation humidity rain pattern stimulate the forecast the climate conditions so these models are the essential for understanding the microclimate variations and their impact on the local environment agriculture urban planning and the resources some key features that were discussed in this uh, video so the first one is the high resolution and second one is the integrated climate data models. The climate variable allow the comprehensive analysis that predict the climate impacts. So the third one is a scenario analysis. CIM plus six is similar to different climate scenarios, having the researchers and the policy maker to understand the potential outcome of those various climate changes, strategies, and interventions. And the first one is the adaptation and the mitigation planning by providing the detailed climate projections. CIM PNC is added to all of its strategies, climate models, and adaptations. So the last one as the major and the most important key feature is that the climate model is available for the academic research as well as the environmental assessment and the supporting the creation of the informed climate policies and the regulations. So if you need more information about the CNBS and its application, free free to ask in the comment section. I will provide a complete lecture on this. Uh, data set so now we're going to talk about how to download this data set so you just need to open your edge browser and type there nex ddb cimps 6 and hit the enter button and uh, you will find this the first link just open this first link okay after open this first link uh, if you want to read more information regarding the this data set you just click on this and the technical node are opened. So this is a technical node. Okay, you find the information about this thing here. Uh, so if you want to download the data, you just simply click on NCCS uh, NEX start JDB6 here and the new tab. Uh, when you open the new tab, then drag down it, and here you find MIRCO6 folder, then SSP126. Uh, okay, after that, just uh, open this R1 ILF this folder, then click on a PR that is basically precipitation. You find the all precipitation data is available here till 2000 to 2100, 2099 to 2100 data are available here. So, I'm going to just download this one, just click here. Then click on a net CDF subset data. Okay, the multiple options are available here. So just click on a precipitation. And here you need to define your coordinates. So I already defined the coordinates here. So after that, you just click on a submit button. A new page is open here, and your download is start just within a few seconds. So I am going to you can see is that the download is start there. So this downloaded file just open into the arc map directly. So this is the downloaded file. So I'm going to again put the, some new coordinates for your understanding. So this is the northeast coordinates. I copy it from here and go to the my internet browser. So paste here. Yeah. Then again, open it. So copy the fields for in it. Okay. Then paste these these coordinates there, and now I need west and south south coordinates. So this is the south one. Okay. Is that the south? And these are the rest paste there then click on a submit button 
uh, make sure your coordinates are accurate otherwise it's a write error and display there are error named as invalid coordinates and sometimes it says that the uh, coordinates are not corrected so this is the uh, second file okay Okay, we have the coordinates file. So we are going to restart our arc map. Okay, you can see is our the arc map is taking it to much more breaks, so we are going to make it and tasks and restart it again Okay. I'm going to download one more data set of uh, the latest year. So just go back and also click on back and I'm going to download 2015. So click on the net CDF and click on precipitation. Then again, input the same coordinates. This one is the salt and rest. Salt. And the last one is the rest. Copy it and paste there. Then click on submit for time. And uh, this is another NASA Earth Exchange Global Delete Download Scale Projection. Basically, these are all. Uh, information regarding the data sets so I think so data sets are download so first we open this then open this I think so our map is completely ready so look. Okay, I think so the area is very small, that's why there is no data display there. So we are changing our file. So I'll try to open this one. Okay, this is the high value and this one is the low value. So you can see in uh, the frame color ramps. So we can also classify it. This one, we can see that the different values they are occurring to these values. Thank you so much, all of them.